All right, guys, we're back again. Again. And we're, it's almost time for Halloween, but that has nothing to do with what I'm about to talk about. What's up? I'm about to talk about cigar boxes. Yes. We got the greatest thing in the mail. I know. I love week. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look how cool. Ain't that neat? That is the coolest thing ever. And it's Wheeling, like Wheeling, West Virginia. Oh, yes. How neat is that? Which we need to get to. I know. You know, I've talked about that since we've been out together. Like Wheeling would be a fantastic I know. video and all this. So that really hit home with me. It's almost like a sign. Yes. Oh, God. And we got this nice card from our good friend Savannah Johns. It was her idea, but also Tony. Yes. Tony and Savannah. So we are so appreciative. And yeah, we love that cigar box, especially Shane. We know. In a card. <laughs> I thought you'd try to argue with me about it. But I got the pillow. Exactly. I that's where really that's cool what I was going to do. I was going to be like, now we're even. Yeah. <laughs> you got the pillow, and I was happy for you. I was yeah. happy for you. He was jealous too, though. I was jealous too. And now I've got yeah. the cigar box. And now I've got this on display in my room with my cowboys. So yeah. I'll show a video here. I'll try to clip it in mm -hmm. and show exactly where this sits prominently in my house. Yes. So as you actually enter my house, I've got a table right here. And there is the cigar box beside little unicorn my daughter and I made together and my A-L-E-X-A which I'm not gonna say out loud because she starts talking to me then configures my kids then I've got Jack Palance in the movie Shane as Jack Wilson and there is Shane Shane Ronald Reagan and soon it's gonna be Paladin from Have Gun Will Travel over here and Roddy Yates and Gil Favor Trail Boss to make my complete set. All right. Yeah. Which is so sweet of people to send us stuff. My I house. know, I love it. I was it. looking at my house the other day when I put that up and I was thinking, man, I got uh, all kinds of stuff hanging and, and decorating my house that people have mailed to us. So oh, wow. I really appreciate you guys doing that. Thank we you. We really do. Thank you so, so much. Thank yeah, you, guys. I was about God, to start so mentioning much. names. I was like, well, if I do that, I'll miss somebody and I don't want to do that. Yeah. And we've had okay. several times somebody has mailed us a piece of art. Mm -hmm. Books. Mm -hmm. We've had, uh, of course, the cigar box. We've had the pillow. Pictures. We've had pictures. Like we had pictures. You've, yeah. got, you've got the uh, uh, wind chimes. The yes. wind chimes. Yes. I mean, just all manner of things, and we really appreciate them and we're trying to make I love use. It. And it like, it's just so special to us to know it's from you guys and that you care enough. Yeah. And you know, every time that I look at that stuff, and I'm sure you're the same way, it just warms my heart. It like, does, because I got that so happy. little Virginia sign that was sent to us that's yes. in my house and my hall. Yeah. And okay. every, I never see that. I don't think about the person sent it. And, yes. And how much it means to me to know, know. that people watch our videos. I know. And I'm completely off topic, but... No. Anyway. We can talk about whatever topic we want to on here. Well, that's why we like this channel. Exactly right. Yeah. But it is. It feels like family when... Especially things we put on this channel, we know people are watching because they like us. Exactly. You know, yeah, which is exactly. a good thing. Exactly right. I know you're a big fan of Halloween and it's coming. I'm out. a huge fan of Halloween. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's been my favorite probably for a while. Um, because I used to used to Thanksgiving was my favorite and I really love it too, but now like my family, so many have passed away and everybody else is like spread out and so like we don't gather like we used to. But I've always loved Halloween. For one, I love dressing up and looking ridiculous in costume or whatever. And I also love candy. Oh, so, man. yeah. You get free candy on Halloween. You do. Have we talked about this before? <laughs> I don't video, know. Have we? On video? I, I don't remember. I don't think so either, but I was... But part of me thinks maybe so because uh, maybe. I remember talking about this uh, costume. Maybe I'll just mean you talk. Yeah. Costume that I got where my mom and dad just stuffed a pillow up my shirt. Yeah, I think that maybe we did on video. But yeah. that's okay. Yeah. We'll talk about it again because we probably will say different stuff. Exactly. Was that your favorite costume as a kid? I hated it as a kid. Absolutely despised so. it. But, but now I have to love it as an adult. You know? I <laughs> yeah. wish I had a picture of it. I can't find one anywhere. I know. I would really love to see that. But. <laughs> I, I had a birth. My birthday's right near Halloween. So I had a birthday party one year and I dressed as Casper the Friendly Ghost. I always wanted a Halloween birthday so that I could have costume parties. Well, there you go. Yeah. You can have one for me. But my birthday is like end of December. We tried to have birthday parties when I was a kid and it seemed like I was always either sick because, you know, it's just that time of year 
or they'd come like a snowstorm or something like it was just always something one year my mom um threw me like a half birthday party in the summer like half at a pool birthday party. That's neat. yeah because i didn't get to have like a birthday party for years but anyways i'm off topic no you're we're still talking about <laughs> halloweenish birthdays yeah so halloween uh i love it my favorite i had some really good costumes mom would do like um like homemade costumes for me sometimes and those were like always my favorite they were always the best one time she dressed me up as like a ghost and i had like big black around my eyes and um we were going with some friends and the daughter was quite a bit younger than me and we loved each other to death but she was so scared of me like she wouldn't get around me for us to go trick-or-treating together <laughs> <laughs> so we still laugh and joke about that that was a really good costume that might have been my favorite oh yes i had any good ones at the time because i remember also having the uh, sheet with the eyes cut out which was a yeah. It, it looked like Charlie Brown and <laughs> yeah. the Great Pumpkin or something. <coughs> yes. Remember it had like eight eyes cut out in it or whatever? <laughs> I mean, it was about yeah. as homemade as you could get. But, uh, I love those. Yeah. I those mean, yeah, like, not, when you're a kid, you don't like them. Like, yeah. Really, 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 you knew you're on the, you were a low rent <laughs> trick or treater, but. I worked in a haunted house Did for you? a while, like, as a teenager. Yeah. Didn't know that. You didn't know that? No. What'd you do there? Scare yeah. people? Or? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, I also love to scare people. Well, don't surprise me either. Right? It wasn't like super scary because we'd have like little kids come through and they'd usually kind of tell us like what the group was like. Like if it's a group of teenagers, you make it a little bit more scary or if there's some little kids, you kind of take it easy. Oh, so there's a levels to it. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And I think I usually co helped come up with the ideas that we would do too. Like we did a haunted hospital one year and it like won an award. Really? Uh-huh. And then we did like haunted circus one year. We did vampire cave. Oh man. Yeah. That's pretty creative stuff. I like to be on the vampire. Place. Well you need to get an old house you can rent out like that. I know, I would love to do that. Yeah, I really would. Me and you've been to a couple of those haunted houses together, haven't we? We went to that uh, of course Grand Mansion. Yeah, we have we been to any others? Maybe that's just the one. We went there two or three times. Yeah, I think we went there like twice together. Huh. I guess that's the only one. Really? It's surprising considering we, I know we've been done things like that. But I know. Guess not. You don't see them as much anymore and like when you do they're like really expensive. I mean like a lot of them is really expensive. I've seen haunted houses as like $40. I've seen this meme that goes around like if I pay $40 to go through a haunted house like you better like kill me or yeah. something. You know? it's <laughs> like, annoying when you're like, it's like really got to scare me. But I don't know. And you know how I am in there. Like, I get like funny and giggly. Like, I try to yeah. mess with them and stuff. So I'm not like, well, not usually really scared. But I remember you seeing a clown one time when you froze up like a mannequin. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was I, I don't like clowns. I don't like clowns. They're creepy. What's your favorite candy to get? Reese's. What's the worst? Which candy did you despise getting? I don't know there's candy any candy there. that I don't really like. Oh, it seems like I can't think of like what they're called or what they are, but it's like just like generic. I don't even know if it has a name, just like orange and black kind of candy. No, I'm just talking about a caramel-y like thing or whatever. It's it's in a, like a just in a solid orange wrapper and one solid black wrapper. Or? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Those, yeah, yeah. Is it caramel? I, I don't know. I think it just tastes I, I like it so bad. Hard. Yeah, I had to so bad. Play Doh or something. Yeah, I guess you like caramel, so it can't be that. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but yeah, it's like bad those. One. I don't like those. It's a bad taste in your mouth, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I wasn't a big fan as a kid of of, uh, of a bit of honey. Yeah. Like that, I, was like I don't like those either, really. You're so I sad. like them better now than I did as a kid, though. Yeah, you're so I, sad. I still wouldn't like choose it. When I was uh, <laughs> bought my first house, I had an elderly neighbor, and she gave out apples, which was horrible. And, no, uh, I like apples. Well, okay, I guess you do, but they uh, little 
little kids we, of course she's a little bit up a, kind of a steep hill yeah and the little kids ran up there and I heard them call down one of them said don't worry don't bother coming up here it's just apples <laughs> and I was like man that was good because she loved it she loved yeah. Halloween it was like Aww. I hope she didn't hear it oh no it was like it hurt me for her I was like oh man Aww. you don't want to be the bad candy guy yeah exactly you know? yeah it's like being a sore loser if you lose a game or something you know like you gotta be appreciative yeah exactly don't, yeah. don't say anything but boy them kids didn't see it that way I know yeah and I remember like trying to go to the good neighborhood like they've got full size candy bars oh, yeah, you know <laughs> like oh yeah that would be getting that excited was, over that that was the kicker and smaller communities should get that you know like we'd go to Hidden Valley and it'd be jam packed you wouldn't oh, yeah. you know gone. it's sad like a lot of kids don't do trick or treating anymore like I haven't since I've lived on my own I don't think I've had one trick or treater and I was excited because it was like I always kind of lived more off away from people and so it was like oh cool I'm gonna get a chance to give out some Halloween candy and uh, no nobody comes they do those trunk or treats now yeah, but I know it's safer and blah 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 uh, well I mean is it really though because I, I, mean, mean, I mean it is but so supposedly I don't want to when I was a kid though we'd usually go around the neighborhood like people you know yeah. and like family house and like those nice neighborhoods yeah. like I was saying so like well and then too you know back when I was a little kid there was a big thing that went around that like some kid died with a, they put razor blades and yeah you know, they something. always say something. and it was a big hoax it didn't happen yeah. And then, then people were saying that you get poisoned, and it came out that that did happen. But it, like a father poisoned his own kid. Oh God! So they exposed I've letters like that. that. It's to best anybody's knowledge, and nobody's ever been <clears throat> had a razor blade put in candy. Nobody's ever been poisoned. Yeah. But you know, I was an X-ray tech for a while, and they would talk about like years before I never saw it happen that um, parents would bring in the bags of their kids Halloween candy to get x-ray to yeah. see if there was any razor blades in it. I know they were yeah. offering it when I was a kid originally as we didn't do it. Yeah. I guess my mom and dad didn't care if I died. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's not true. <laughs> they, they, they planted razor blades in my family. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. No. So, but, uh, yeah, it's a strange, strange. Of course, if yeah. something looked like opened, you wouldn't eat that. No. I mean, and I had people who get desperate. Like we went, and the guy woke up graham crackers, and was giving like one sliver of graham crackers. He just ran out um, of stuff to give away. Yeah. Or people who give like a penny. Yeah. Or nickel yeah. or something. It's like, well, come I on. I got man. pennies before. It's like, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Mm -hmm. I got a toothbrush before. Trick or treat. Seriously? Yeah. The dentist or whatever. It may have been a dentist. Maybe that's different to you. I told you. You know. <laughs> Melody's here. She's no. It's probably like a dentist. I can't remember. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. Good old Halloween. You'll be here before you know it. I know. I love Halloween. I don't know. That spells uh, fall foliage too. Yeah. So, what's your favorite thing about Halloween? What's your favorite candy? Favorite activity? Or maybe you hate Halloween and tell us about that too. Yes. We want to hear from you guys. Yep.